Ramasani Venkataraman was an Indian lawyer, Indian independence activist and politician who served as a union minister and as the eighth president of India. Venkataraman was born in Rajamadam village in Tanjore district, Madras Presidency. He studied law and practiced in the Madras High Court and the Supreme Court of India. In his young age, he was an activist of the Indian independence movement and participated in the Quit India movement. He was appointed member of the Constituent Assembly and the Provisional Cabinet. He was elected to Lok Sabha four times and served as Union Finance Minister and Defence Minister. In 1984, he was elected the seventh Vice President of India and in 1987, he became the eighth President of India and served from 1987 to 1992. He also served as a State Minister under K. Kamaraj and M. Bhaktivatalam. Early life Bhankta Raman was born in Rajamadam village near Impetukote, near Tanjore district in Tamil Nadu. He had his school education in Govt Boys Higher Secondary School, Patukote and college education in National College Higher Secondary School at Trichy. Educated locally and in the city of Madras, Bhankta Raman obtained his master's degree in economics from Loyola College, Madras. He later qualified in law from the Law College, Madras. Bhankta Raman was enrolled in the Madras High Court in 1935 and in the Supreme Court in 1951. While practicing law, Bhankta Raman was drawn into the movement for India's freedom from Britain's colonial subjugation. His active participation in the Indian National Congress has celebrated resistance to the British government. The Quit India movement of 1942 resulted in his detention for two years under the Defence of India rules. Bhankta Raman's interest in the law continued during this period. In 1946, when the transfer of power from British to Indian hands was imminent, the Government of India included him in the panel of lawyers sent to Malaya and Singapore to defend Indian nationals charged with offences of collaboration during the Japanese occupation of those two places. In the years 1947 to 1950, Bhankta Raman served as Secretary of the Madras Provincial Bar Federation. Political career, law and trade activity led to Venkta Raymond's increasing association with politics. He was a member of Constituent Assembly that drafted India's constitution. In 1950 he was elected to free India's provisional parliament into the first parliament. During his term of legislative activity, Bhankta Raymond attended the 1952 session of the Metal Trades Committee of International Labour Organization as a workers' delegate. He was a member of the Indian Parliamentary Delegation to the Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference in New Zealand. Bhankta Raman was also secretary to the Congress Parliamentary Party in 1953 Euro 1954. Although re-elected to Parliament in 1957, Bhankta Raman resigned his seat in the Lok Sabha to join the state government of Madras as a minister. There Sri Bhankta Raman held the portfolios of industries, labour, cooperation, power transport and commercial taxes from 1957 to 1967. During this time, he was also leader of the Upper House, namely, the Madras Legislative Council. As Minister of Industries, Bhankta Raman was appointed a member of the Union Planning Commission in 1967 and was entrusted the subjects of industry, labour, power, transport, communications, railways. He held that office until 1971. In 1977, Bhankta Raman was elected to the Lok Sabha from Madras constituency and served as an opposition member of parliament and chairman of the Public Accounts Committee. Bhankta Raman was also, variously, a member of the Political Affairs Committee and the Economic Affairs Committee of the Union Cabinet. Governor, International Monetary Fund, the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, and the Asian Development Bank. Bhankta Raman was a delegate to the United Nations General Assembly in 1953, 1955, 1956, 1958, 1959, 1960 and 1961. He was leader of the Indian delegation to the 42nd session of the International Labour Conference at Geneva and represented India in the Interparliamentary Conference in Vienna. He was a member of the United Nations Administrative Tribunal from 1955 to 1979 and was its president from 1968 to 1979. In 1980, 
Bung Tureman was re-elected to the Lok Sabha and was appointed Union Minister of Finance in the government headed by SMT. Indira Gandhi. He was later appointed Union Minister of Defence. Here he is credited for initiating India's missile programme, he shifted APJ Abdul Kalam from space programme to the missile programme, and consolidated the entire missile system, naming it as Integrated Guided Missile Development Programme. Later he was to serve as Vice President of India and then as a President of India starting 1987, where he worked with four Prime Ministers, and appointed three of them, V.P. Singh, Chandrashka and P.V. Narasimha Rao, during his five-year term, which saw the advent of coalition politics in India. His successor S.D. Sharma was the only other Indian president in 20th century to work with four prime ministers and appoint three of them. Honours and accolades, Bhankta Raman received the Doctorate of Law from University of Madras, the Doctorate of Law from Nagarjuna University. He is Honorary Fellow, Madras Medical College. Doctor of Social Sciences, University of Roorkee. Doctor of Law from University of Burdwan. He was awarded the Tamra Patra for participation in the freedom struggle, the Soviet Land Prize for his travelogue on K. Kamaraj's visit to the socialist countries. He was the recipient of a souvenir from the Secretary General of the United Nations for Distinguished Service as President of the UN Administrative Tribunal. The title of Satsavaratna was conferred on him by His Holiness the Samkaracharya of Kanchipuram. Illness and death. On January 12, 2009, Bhankta Raman was admitted to the Army Research and Referral Hospital with complaints of urosepsis. His condition grew critical on January 20, when he was detected with low blood pressure and E. coli tract infection. Bhankta Raman died at the Army Research and Referral Hospital, New Delhi, on January 27, 2009, at 14:30 IST due to multiple organ failure at the age of 98. He died on the day after Republic Day, India, and some programs coinciding it were cancelled to mark the respect towards the late former president. He was cremated with full state honours at Ectus Thal near Rajat. Contribution to India, Role of Planning in Industrial Development, by Ramaswamy Venkta Raman. Published by GOVT. Of India Press, 1969. The Role of a Private Member of Parliament by Ramaswamy Venkta Raman. Published by Harold Lasky Institute of Political Science, 1986. My Presidential Years A Euro A Venkta Raman, by A Venkta Raman 1995. Harper Collins Indus. ISBN 81-7223-202-0. A Venkta Raman On Contemporary Issues, by Ramaswamy Raman, K. Venkata Subramanian. Subramanian, Venkta Raman, K. Venkata Subramanian. Published by Variant Communications, 1996. Relevance of Gandhi, and Other Essays, by K. Swaminathan, Ramaswamy Venkta Raman. Published by Gandhi Gram Trust, 1998. Books on the Venkta Raman, President of Venkta Raman, by Nan Gopal Chaudhry. Published by Manas Publications, 1987. ISBN 81-7049-018-9. The Great Humanist Ramaswamy Venkta Raman, by Atta Chand. Published by G. N. Pub. House, 1987. ISBN 81-212-0106-3. So May India Be Great, Selected Speeches and Writings of President of Venkta Raman, by Ramaswamy Venkta Raman. Published by Publication Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, GOVT. Of India, 1990. Selected Speeches, 1984 Euro 87, September 10, 1984 Euro May 14, 1987, September 10, 1984 Euro May 14, 1987, by Ramaswamy Venkta Raman. Published by Publications Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, GOVT. Of India, 1991. President of Venkta Raman Selected Speeches, July 1987 Euro December 1989, by Ramaswamy Venkta Raman. Published by Publications Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, GOVT. Of India, 1991. Notes. References. Ramaswamy Venkta Raman, 
8th President of India. The Times. January 30, 2009 are, external links, late Arvenkatraman's journey, post a Euro presidential career of Arvenkatraman, maintained by RV Foundation, a trust founded by him and administered by the family.